Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 71st tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about unions. Now unions are again user defined data types and uh, you know just as uh, we saw structures that structures do not have fixed properties unions also do not have fixed properties so you know it can have as many member variables as you wanted to have and uh, you can define what properties your members in the union uh, should have. Right, so in this tutorial we are going to see how we can define a union and then how we can declare a union variable and then also how we can access the members of the union using the member access operator. So as you can see using code blocks I've saved a file I've given it the name unions.c on line 1 in this file I have the stdio.h header file on line 2 I have the string.h header file and then on line 3 I have typed in the keyword union. Right, so this is a keyword in C and uh, you have to type this whenever you are defining a union and uh, then I have given a space and then I have uh, typed in the word university which in this case is the name of the union that we're going to have in the program and uh, then on line number four I have uh, an opening curly brace and there's a corresponding closing curly brace on line number seven so all the member declaration statements have to be between these two curly braces. Right, and then uh, on line number seven, I could have declared the union variable, but uh, I haven't done that. I have declared the union variable inside the main function. So let's check out the main function now. On line number eight, I have uh, declared it, and then on line number nine, I have the opening curly brace for main, and then on line number ten, I have uh, typed in the union keyword again, and uh, then I have specified the name of the union in the program, which is university, and then. Finally, I have specified the name of the union variable, which is student, right? So that's the name I've given to the variable. And then on line number 11, I have uh, initialized the S underscore age uh, member of the union. The union, by the way, has uh, two members. The first one is an integer and it's called S underscore age. So it's supposed to hold age of a student belonging to university. And uh, then on line number six, I have declared another member and this is a character array. Right, so it's it's basically a string. It's called s underscore name, and it can hold a maximum of thirty characters. So, um, you know, then on line number twelve, I have uh, displayed the value of s underscore age variable that I have initialized on line eleven. And to initialize this this member, um, what you have to do is you have to specify the union variable name first, which in this case is student. Then you have to type in the member access operator, which is the dot or period and then the name of the uh, member which is s underscore age and since this is an integer I can give it a value by using the assignment operator and I've given an integer value 22 to this uh, member and then I've used uh, the printf uh, statement to uh, display the value of the s underscore age member on screen. Now if I would have uh, initialized the s underscore name string immediately after initializing the s underscore age member of the union then the s underscore age member would have lost its value and what I mean by that is at a time only one union member can have a value right so this is an advantage that unions have over structures and it's also a disadvantage so if you are working uh, in a scenario where you want to save memory and uh, you know that you know you'll have five members and out of those five members you're going to use only one at a time then it makes sense to have a union but if you know that at a time out of five members you're going to have you know three in active mode then it makes sense to have a structure instead of a union right so unions help you save memory but then you should know that if you have four members in a union then at a time you can have only one with some value right so that's why I have displayed the value of the s underscore age member on screen before initializing the s underscore name uh, member of the union and uh, to initialize the s underscore name member since it's a string I've used the strcpy method and again within parentheses I first specified the union variable name which is student the member access operator which is dot and then uh, the name of my member which is s underscore name and then I put in a comma and then within double quotes I pass a string and uh, I've specified my name here so that's Madhur and then on line number 14 I have used a printf function with the percent %s format specifier to display the value of the s underscore name member of the union union so let me run this program and show you guys the output so in the output window we see that the student age is 22 the student name is Madhur 
right so that's it for now i hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial i'm going to see you in the next one in which we'll discuss something interesting for sure and uh, please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already and i'm going to see you soon